a Hall of Fame career begins to take shape at the fourth running of the greatest race in the history of spring. For the fourth consecutive season, the best modified teams in the country filled the pit area for the Stafford Speedway season opener, the Spring Sizzler. Nearly 90 teams entered the 1975 running of the event, but only 33 would qualify for the 80-lap main event. 1973 National Modified Champion Richie Evans became the early favorite, setting the fast time in practice to open the weekend, lapping the half mile at 20.42 seconds. Four heat races and two consolation events determined the 33-car starting lineup. Leo Cleary, Evans, Dick Dunn, and Ron Bouchard were the heat race winners, while Jerry Cook and Len Cleves were among the final starters after winning their consies. At the start, it would be Evans taking the lead early from the outside pole. The Rapid Roman would go on to lead the first half of the race before giving up the top spot to Bouchard on lap 40, and the Wasa Wasa kid would lead the next 15 circuits but was never able to break away from Evans who took the lead back on the 65th lap. It would be the final lead change of the race as Evans would remain out front until the checkered flag holding off a hard charging Ed Flemke by just a car length at the finish. Fred Schultz, Ron Bouchard and 1974 winner Bugsy Stevens completed the top five. Not only was it Evans' first win the Spring Sizzler, it was his first win on the Stafford Half Mile period. The Rapid Roman would go on to win 37 times at Stafford during his modified career, including three Spring Sizzlers. Mark your calendars for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100 lap open modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races and the past super late model 75 on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.